Hello and welcome to this Uni Taster on demand event today. My name is John Cheek. I'm here from Uni Taster Days, and my job is to introduce the event and introduce our speaker today. The speaker is Dr. David Galley, who's joining us from Solent University in Southampton. David is going to provide an introduction to university courses in social work. And as you know, with these events, we try and cover four main things why you might want to consider the course, what to expect on it, a guide to potential careers, and also, if applicable, any application tips as well. But always conscious you've tuned in to hear from our speaker, not for myself, so I'll pass things to Dr. David Galley, joining us from Solent University in Southampton. David, over to you, please. Hello. As John has said, uh, I'm Dr. David Galley. I'm the course leader for the social work programmes at Solent University in South Southampton. Uh, I'm also a qualified and registered social worker. And I'd like to talk a bit about why you might consider social work as a career. Social work is all about understanding the challenges that people face in society and helping them to make a positive difference to people's lives. If you have a positive regard for people, this could be the career for you. Social workers listen to people's needs at some of the most vulnerable points in their lives. From young people to adults, we help them make sense of their situation with the aim of improving the quality of their lives. Social workers also have an important role to play in improving our communities, advocating for social justice and standing up for people's rights. They work in the voluntary, private and independent sectors, in addition to working within statutory services, like the council, for example. They can work in youth justice, child welfare, with people with dis disabilities, in mental health, substance abuse, policy and planning, politics, public welfare, research, in schools, and much more besides. This is important work, and making a positive difference to an individual or group of people is immensely rewarding. But equally, it can also be stressful. And that's why training in resilience features in so many social work courses. This neatly brings me on to what you can expect if you study social work. Undergraduate degrees in social work are three, three years, and postgraduate are one or two years. Social work is an academic discipline and also a vocational qualification. If you, you are reading for a degree and the academic aspects of courses provide you with the ability to develop your communication skills, to learn about social work theory and models and to explore evidence to guide your practice. The vocational aspects means that you get to embark on a minimum of 170 days in practice placement, and here you get to test out those theories and models. It's also a brilliant program to develop your self-awareness and most students report personal growth and development outside of what you would normally expect when in higher education. Social work is a regulated profession and as such has a robust application process. If you decide to apply for social work, you will be subject to DBS checks and an application process which can involve additional writing uh, statements, an interview, a check on your abilities in written English, and you may also be asked to do some work in a group. This process is designed to check your potential for social work and your personal value base. You don't need to wait to apply for a place uh, on a social work degree. Applications can be sent at any time of the year. A degree in social work can qualify you to undertake a variety of professional roles. These can include working in child protection, working with older people, in hospitals, in the armed forces, as community development leaders and many other worthwhile and rewarding career paths. There is always demand for social workers and therefore jobs won't be difficult to find. As a social worker, you never stop learning and your professional development is continuous throughout your career. It's important to stay abreast of latest developments in practice and policy because we deal with people's lives and they deserve the best from us and we deserve to be the best that we can be. Thank you for listening. I've been Dr. David Galley from Solent University in Southampton.